Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find all the values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. And to solve this problem, we are going to start by simplifying this first term. Of course, you know that this is the same as log to be is half of 4x, all squared. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will change this from base half to base 2 to match this term. And of course, to do that, we are going to apply our change of base formula. Now, when we do that, this is going to be equal to log to base 2. Remember, 2 is the new base of 4x divided by log to base 2 of the old base, which is half. But of course, you know that half is the same as 2 to the power minus 1. And then this is still squared. Now let us look at this denominator. Remember that log to b is a of a to the power b is equal to b. So log to b is 2 of 2 to the power minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So that simply means that this is equal to log to base 2 of 4x divided by minus 1. And of course, everything is still squared. Of course, you know that minus 1 squared is equal to 1. So this is the same as log to base 2 of 4x squared. Now, Remember that this is a product. And of course, we know that log A times B is equal to log A plus log B. So we can express this as log to base 2 of 4 plus log to base 2 of X, both squared. Once more, let us look at this. Of course, you know that 4 is the same as 2 squared. And you know that log to base 2 of 2 to the power 2 is equal to 2. So this is the same as 2 plus log to base 2 of x squared. And now let us expand this. We have 2 squared, which is equal to 4. We have 2 times 2 times log to base 2 of x. That is plus 4 times log to base 2 of x. And then we have log to base 2 of x squared. That is log to base 2 squared of x. So after simplification, we have that this first term is equal to this. That means that this equation can be written as 4 plus 4 times log to base 2 of x plus log to base 2 squared of x. Now let us look at this second term. Remember that log a over b is equal to log a minus log b. That means that we can write this as log to base 2 of x squared minus log to base 2 of 8. And of course, this is still equal to 8. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule of logarithms to this term. Of course, that is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent too. That is the exponent of x to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, this equation becomes 4 plus 4 times log to base 2 of x plus log to base 2 squared of x plus 2 times log to base 2 of x minus. Now look at this. We have log to base 2 of 8. But of course, you know that this can be written as log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 because of course, 8 is 2 cubed. But now you know that log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3 is equal to 3. So this is equal to 3. So instead of writing log to base 2 of 8, we are going to write 
3. And of course, this is still equal to 8. Now, let us collect like terms. Here we have log to base 2 squared of x plus 4 times log to base 2 of x plus 2 times log to base 2 of x is going to give us 6 times log to base 2 of x. Now, here we have 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. So, this is plus 1. Now, let us move this over to the left-hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have minus 8. And, of course, this is equal to 0. At this point, let us do a substitution. Let log to base 2 of x be equal to the letter d. So, here we have d squared plus 6d. 1 minus 8 is minus 7. Minus 7 is equal to 0. You can see that we have the quadratic equation in D. And we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 7 that add up to plus 6. And of course, those are going to be 7 and minus 1. Because 7 times minus 1 is going to give us minus 7 while 7 minus 1 is going to give us 6. So we can factorize the left-hand side of this equation as d plus 7 multiplied by d minus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that either d plus 7 is equal to 0 or d minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, when we subtract 7 from both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to minus 7. And when we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 1. So now we have found the two values of d that satisfy this quadratic equation. But of course, we know that d is equal to log to base 2 of x. So we have that either log to base 2 of x is equal to minus 7 or log to base 2 of x is equal to 1. Now, when you look at this equation, you know that this simply means that 2 to the power minus 7 is equal to x. In this case, 2 to the power 1 is equal to x. So we have that x is equal to 2 to the power minus 7 and x is equal to 2 to the power 1. So these are the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. Now to check our answer, let us substitute these two values of x into the left hand side of the equation to see if we get it. When x is equal to 2 to the power minus 7, this equation becomes log to base half of 2 squared. Remember, 4 is 2 squared, multiplied by 2 to the power minus 7, which is x. And of course, this is squared plus log to base 2 of 2 squared. That is 2 to the power minus 7 squared. We have 2 to the power minus 7 squared. Remember, when we have two powers like this, to get rid of the bracket, all we do is to multiply two of them. So this is equal to 2 to the power minus 14. So here we have 2 to the power minus 14 divided by 2 cubed, which is equal to 8. Now, 2 squared multiplied by 2 to the power minus 7. Remember, when we have two numbers with the same base multiplying each other, we simply add the exponents. So this is going to be equal to log to base half of 2 to the power 2 minus 7, that is minus 5 squared plus log to base 2 of. In this case, when we have two numbers with the same base dividing, then what we do is to subtract this exponent from this. So we have 2 to the power minus 14 minus 3. Now remember that 2 
is the same as half to the power minus one because the negative index simply tells us to take the reciprocal of what is inside the bracket and the reciprocal of one over two is equal to two over one now we still have times minus five and of course we still have log to this half and everything is still squared now this is plus log to this 2 of 2 to the power minus 14 minus 3 is minus 17. minus 1 times minus 5 is 5 so this is log to this half of half to the power 5 squared plus now log to base 2 of 2 to the power minus 17 is equal to minus 17. So here we have minus 17. Once more, log to base half of half to the power 5 is equal to 5. So here we have 5 squared minus 17. 5 squared is 25 minus 17. 25 minus 17 is equal to 8. And this is exactly what we have on the right hand side of the original equation. So that simply tells us that this value of x satisfies the original equation. Now, for the second value of x, that is 2, the left hand side of this equation becomes log to this half of 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 is 2 to the power 3. So here we have 2 to the power 3. This is still squared plus log to be 2 of 2 squared is 4. 4 over 8 is 1 over 2. Now, remember that we can write 2 as half to the power minus 1. And we still have the power 3. This is log to this half and this is all squared plus log to this two of half but then we can write half as two to the power minus one minus one times three is minus three so what we have is log to this half of half to the power minus three which of course is equal to minus three this is squared plus now in the same way log to base 2 of 2 to the power minus 1 is equal to minus 1 minus 3 squared is 9 minus 1 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 once more this is exactly what we have on the right hand side of the original equation so this value of x also satisfies the original equation and with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.